hello and welcome back to another episode or another video on my channel today in this video i'm going to be cleaning my riding gear in addition to just to cleaning my gear i will share with you a review of my riding gear what i have been using for the past three years to introduce you to my riding gear this is the suit that i have used for the past three years it's basically an adventure riding gear it comes as a suit with jacket trouser and rain gear i will also talk about the shoes that i use if you're looking for information about riding gear there will be quite a bit in this video and of course a bit about cleaning the gear itself so stay tuned until the end and i hope that you will benefit from this video so now let's go do the cleaning this one is an olympia air glide suit specifically designed for women so that's one big plus that it has a good fitting for a, for women I bought it as a kit for five pieces. That is, it has a jacket, a trouser, a rain gear, which is two pieces, and a thermal liner. What I love about this suit is the fact that, one, when it's hot, it is very breathable. You see, I can open those vents at the front, and they're quite big spaces. I can also open on the sleeves as well, from the front and the behind the elbow, and as well as the back. I have vents at the back as well that I can open and during hot weather you're able to get wind blowing in, cool air blowing in which keeps you cooler and not sweaty. Especially when we rode in Atacama Desert, the weather was extremely hot. We've been to many countries where we've ridden in very hot weather and this suit came through for me like i love it another thing is that like i said it's designed for women so you can see you have straps around the waist to keep it to fit and shape nicely you have the bottom well curved and long so it covers your your bum bum <laughs> yes so you don't have those embarrassing moments when you're seated on the bike and people can see you know the space between your jacket and your pants now let's go to the pants these pants are obviously bulky. They're not for daily wear. They're quite bulky and heavy. They are designed for actually uh, adventure riding. If you look at what I'm showing you, they're also very breathable for hot weather. I have, I can open them all the way from down all the way up. Yes. So it opens up and looks like a skirt. Two advantages for this is that um, if you like to wear thermal liners or a layer inside and you get somewhere and you feel extremely hot, you can open up completely when you are, are at a stop, not riding with them open, and you will get to breathe in air very well. They come armored with uh, hip pads and uh, knee guards as well, and they're also very well breathable. I have back pockets. Oh, what you're seeing there is I can actually attach my trousers to the jacket and make it a complete suit from behind. Yeah. During cold weather, the jacket comes with a thermal liner, but it is also very possible to layer with this suit because it has a really good fitting that is loose. So you can layer with something else. Now, I think talking about layering gear and uh, traveling for a long time, the perfect one, that will definitely have to be a video on its own. It's a whole subject. So make sure to look out for the next video. Let's prepare this uh, gear for cleaning. The first thing you do is remove the armors. You never wash the armors because by so doing, you damage them. So I'm removing the hip pads and I'm going to remove the knee guards. For some reason, these pants still have the belt on. I don't know why, because I haven't used these pants for more than a year. But yeah, it happens. Next thing, make sure that the pockets are empty. You don't have anything in the pocket. Uh, also, make sure that the zips are either zipped up if you're using a washing machine. 
you repeat the same process for the jacket remove anything attached to it for me i carry a sanitizer all through some people will have a key ring to attach their key to make sure that it's safe uh, i carried a sanitizer even before covid happened because when you're on the road you have no access to water all the time then make sure all the pockets are empty before you put your jacket in the machine This one is very important. Before cleaning your riding gear, make sure you read all the instructions that come with it. The meaning found on the inside of your jacket. Different riding gears have, are made from different materials and therefore they come with specific cleaning instructions. Failure to follow those instructions means you're going to damage your, your gear. And we all know how expensive riding gear is. So please just follow, don't waste your money. See you back in 15 minutes. <laughs> As the jacket and the pants are getting cleaned, now let's go to my riding boots. These are my adventure riding boots, the boots I've used for the longest. You can see I have a really nice zipper there. They are waterproof. I also have a reinforcement that protects my shin in case of an accident. I have a reinforced shin area. They have the ankle protection on the inside and as well as on the outside. I have extra protection on that side in case of a crash and the toes are protected. I have a steel protection there and steel protection for my heel. It comes with a reflective strip down there. So in the night, you can actually see me from the bottom. The brand is CD, a brand that I really love. I've enjoyed riding in them and the material there is Gore-Tex. This particular pair of adventure boots is light enough for adventure travel and strong enough for adventure travel. My other pair of boots, riding boots, is this one. Actually, when I started wearing this pair of shoes, everybody thought that they were just sneakers or high tops, but no. These are riding boots. They come with a toe protection, steel protection. Also comes with an ankle protection on the outer and as well as on the inside. It's got an open a zipper there you can either choose to use the zipper for opening the shoes and closing them or you can choose to use the laces i prefer the zipper and i find it more practical the laces to me look like they're just for decoration i have a heel protection and a reflective strip there so again at night it's very easy to see you know that there's someone on the bike from the shoes as well they are pretty light and perfect for daily wear because when you're doing daily commute or daily riding you you walk more than when you're doing adventure travel adventure travel you're on the bike more and walking less i don't know the brand of this shoe i bought it second hand here so i'm trying to see whether i can see i don't know whether that's the brand we can google it yes uh, but i love these shoes because they are so light they are also very easy to dress. I feel very comfortable and I feel smart in them. Even if you don't wash your boots frequently, it is very important to air them as much as you can. If possible, put them outside in the sun once in a while and give them a very good dose of heat. This is because, especially for those people who ride every day and wear the same pair of shoe every day, it accumulates a lot of bacteria from your sweat and any other moist and can easily lead to fungal infection. So the machine is off the laundry is done let's take out the pieces and see how they look like what happened whoa 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 
I emphasized on zipping up everything and I forgot to zip up but they look okay the zippers are safe the pair of pants look clean as well thanks god i can see some white particles so i think i also forgot something in the pocket and i honestly thoroughly checked each pocket so i don't know how this one escaped me the inside is clean i'm happy the outside as well you see i have those leather parts on the inner of the thigh which is great for me because my thunder thighs eat up fabric so for me this pants coming with that leather part is a big big plus i should have mentioned that in the beginning everything is okay clean yes i'm happy so now let's look at the jacket and see the outcome again i also didn't zip up the jacket so guys don't do as i do do as i say I can see the white particles on it. Um, the front is not clean. I think because of staying for too long without cleaning this. Oh, there goes the white, the tissue that I forgot. That's the one that has caused all the white particles on the, on the gear. So while we were traveling, it wasn't possible to do washing of this gear for the fact that we really didn't have time to wash it and dry it. And so you can see that the back is very clean because the back attracts the least of the dirt. The front, on the other hand, is the most problem problematic part for me. It doesn't get clean and I think it has accumulated dirt over time that I probably need to see how to do it. Yes. So it's not very clean on the green or the the high vis part this is the high vis the green part of my jacket is the high visibility fabric of my jacket so i don't need to wear another reflective jacket over it i already have the high visibility fabric on my jacket so yeah that's it the front didn't clean well yeah it still looks a bit dirty so i think it's time for me to buy a new jacket yeah but overall the sweat is gone the smell is gone the most that is gone i am done with cleaning the riding gear and the boots and i just hope that this video teaches you a thing or two about caring for your own riding gear now, riding gear comes in different materials and different designs depending on the kind of riding you do. There are those who do enduro, there are those who do sports racing, there are those who do adventure travel, there are daily commuters, and there are also those people who do motocross. All this gear is made differently and using different materials, mostly based on the risks involved injuries that are likely to happen giving utmost protection to the user so before you clean your gear make sure you understand what type of gear it is what material has been used the special care instructions that come with it so that you don't mess up your gear by not following those special care instructions messing up what gives you the protection and putting yourself at a risk also gear is so so expensive and what you pay for is that protection is that added value to that fabric to that material so ensure that you always read the instructions the care instructions before you clean it and protect that gear from damages otherwise it will be a whole new investment a whole new expenditure and it's not cheap on the other hand just in case you mess it up and you don't realize it means you have reduced the level of protection you get from your riding gear. Now, Kohara Machache, let's see you in the next video. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so now. Subscribe and make sure you hit the bell next to the subscription button so that you're notified every time I put out a new video. And keep it here for more motorcycle conversations. Anything gear, anything motorcycle, anything travel. So long as in Aguza motorcycle, stay tuned. That is what you get.